It's time for another Brutally Honest review, and this time we are going in on Target. Now, I really like Target. I think their clothes are cute and relatively affordable and pretty size inclusive and also accessible for most people in the US because Target is everywhere here. So Target has multiple brands, multiple labels within Target and each of those brands has like a different vibe, a different style. So I ordered from four of Target's most popular brands, Wild Fable, Knox Rose, Universal Threads, and A New Day. And as always with my Brutally Honest reviews, I'll try on all the pieces and give you guys my honest thoughts on the quality, the sizing, the price, the fit, so that if you've been contemplating buying any new summer clothes from Target, you can get some info before you buy on if it's really worth spending your money. And it's brutally honest, so if I like it, I'll tell you, but if I don't, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. All right, so I've got two items here from Wild Fable to try. Wild Fable is the Target brand that's really aimed at millennials and Gen Z. From the research I did into this label, it seems like this is supposed to be their like young, trendy brand to kind of rival like a, a Forever 21. So I got this plaid skirt that comes in a double zero to 26W. It was $17 and I got it in a 14W. And this white fitted crop top that comes in an extra small to 4X. It was $5 and I got it in an extra large. So both of these pieces I really like right off the bat and they're the perfect size for me, exactly the size I would have chose if I tried it on in store. So let's start with the skirt. The material is very lightweight. Honestly, it's thinner than I would have expected, but it still feels like high quality and pretty well constructed, which is kind of perfect for like a warm weather skirt like this. And it said in the description of this item that the skirt is 80% recycled polyester. So that's really cool. It's got this little slit on the left thigh that I think is really cute. And then it's just kind of fitted like all the way around. It has a zipper up the back like this. And then the waist is a little bit elastic. It's a little bit stretchy. I have a little bit of room here. It's honestly just kind of the perfect amount so that when I'm sitting down, it doesn't like press in on my stomach. And overall, I just think this is a really cute skirt at a really good price. The plaid is very cute. And I feel like this is a good transitional wardrobe piece. It's cute for summer and it also totally works for fall and for spring. You could even make it work for winter with like some little tights. At least in San Diego, you could where winter is like 65. So the skirt, I'm actually gonna go ahead and give a nine out of 10. The only way I think it could be better is if the band at the top was a little bit thicker, if it gave a little bit more support. But other than that, like the fit is perfect. The quality feels much nicer than I would expect for the price point. And then the crop top here, it hits like just above my belly button. So obviously with a high-waisted skirt like this, you don't really show much midriff, but with a pair of like mid-rise or even just like not so super high-rise bottoms, you'd definitely be showing some skin. It's also pretty, fitted all the way around. The material feels pretty average. It's not like super soft and plush, but it's also not like itchy or scratchy or, or pulling anywhere. And overall, I like this piece. I think I'll actually keep both of these. And I'm gonna go ahead and give the top a seven out of 10. Next up, we have a dress from the Target brand, Knox Bros. I was reading a couple articles about the development of this label, and it seems like it's meant to be Target's take on the sort of like trendy, but slightly more mature brands like Free People and Anthropology. So I ordered this dress that was $27.99, and it comes in an extra small to double XL, and I got it in an extra large. I was a little apprehensive about ordering this dress because it is that like shapeless, loose fitting, free people kind of style. And I usually love waist definition in a dress, but somehow I, I still really like this. Even though it doesn't have like traditional waist definition, it does have some tailoring kind of going from like here down to the hip, which I think helps to give the dress a little bit of subtle structure instead of just being like one piece of fabric hanging off my boobs. And I really like the, the details of this dress in addition to that kind of structure here. It has polka dot embroidery all over it, which I think is a really cute touch. It has this kind of pom-pom detailing on the neckline and the sleeves. It has the like tiered look at the bottom. Overall, I think this totally looks like something that you could find at Anthropology or Free People. I do think the sizing on this dress runs a little bit big. This is an XL and it fits me more like the way I would expect a double XL or a one X to fit. Honestly, if I had tried this on in store, I'd probably try on the large to see if I like that better. It's also a really nice length. It it's like just below my knee, so I could totally wear bike shorts 
with it to prevent the chub rub. And it does give off that kind of more like mature, modest feel. So I'm gonna keep this dress. I really like it. And I'm gonna go ahead and give it a nine out of 10. The only reason it gets a point off is because I do think the fabric could be a little bit higher quality. Next up, we have two items from the Target brand Universal Thread, which I thought was actually called Universal Threads with, a, with an S for like the longest time until right when we started filming this video. So if I say Universal Threads with an S, I apologize. <laughs> and this brand gets me the most excited for a couple reasons. First, not all of their items, but many of them, especially the denim, come in a double zero to a 26W. And they're also making the move to be more sustainably sourced and fair trade certified, which is huge because especially for plus size women, finding clothes that actually come in our size, are budget friendly and are sustainably produced can feel almost impossible sometimes. Sometimes fast fashion is the only option that some people have. And that's why I try to show a variety of brands and price points on my channel, because I don't want anyone to feel excluded just because of their budget. But if Universal Thread continues to expand to make more of their items sustainably and certified fair trade while keeping those price points moderate, that would be a game changer. That would be so awesome for inclusivity and ethical production and accessibility. So I got this Universal Thread plus size striped top in a 1X. It comes in a 1X to 4X and it was $13.99. And these white high rise paper bag shorts that come in an extra small to double XL. They were $22.99 and I got them in an extra large. So let's go try it on. All right, so this is what these pieces look like just like fresh out of the package. But this this is a top that I'm gonna need to do some styling to. Okay, yeah, I like this. I like this much better styled like this. When I first put it on, I was like, oh, not, not for me. So this shirt is very lightweight and thin, which I usually like, but it, it's the, maybe it's the material or the construction, but it feels pretty cheap and low quality. I'm not the biggest fan of the way this shirt feels and the quality. It looks really cute though. I would say it definitely runs true to size, maybe a little bit big. There's plenty of room in the midsection, in the chest, in the arms. It's just a looser fitting shirt. This is one I think I'm definitely gonna put in the Poshmark pile, even though I like the way it looks. I just think because because of the material and the quality, it's not something that I would regularly wear. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this top a six out of 10. I was really expecting and hoping for more from Universal Threads, but like the $5 crop top from Wild Fable feels higher quality than this. Now let's talk about the shorts. I actually really like this. I think the fit and the sizing is perfect and, and true to size. The waistband is super stretchy and elastic, which is super nice because it can fit a, a variety of figures and proportions. These feel and fit very comfortably, but I will say from an aesthetic perspective, I, I think it's a little bit too snug of a fit around my hips from what I would ideally like. But the fabric is really stretchy, so it's not like pushing or anything. It's just, I, I like a loose fitting hip and leg. The material also feels very nice, very high quality. Honestly, you could tell me that these were like made well and I would believe it. I think these would be a really comfy pair of shorts for like all day wear, if you were like going somewhere where you're walking around a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and and give these shorts a eight out of 10. I just wish that the hips and the leg fit a teeny bit looser. The next outfit I'm trying is from the Target brand, A New Day, which in one of the articles that I read about this brand, they described it as kind of a J. Crew meets Zara, but with Target friendly prices. If any of you guys remember the Target brand Morona, A New Day was actually the replacement for that brand in an effort to be more updated. So I got this green plus size jumpsuit that comes in a one X to a 4X. I got it in a 1X and it was $20.99. So this jumpsuit is the first thing I've tried on in this video that I would say just doesn't fit. I was able to make it look a little bit more fitted because of the tie belt waist, which I love, but overall the sleeves, the stomach, the legs, even the back here, it's just too much extra fabric. I will say one thing I'm noticing kind of consistently with these Target brands is that there's a pretty big jump in sizing and fit from the largest standard size to the smallest plus size. I got a mix of standard size and plus size clothes for this video and it's made it pretty clear that there is a pretty noticeable gap between the extra large and the 1X. But other than the sizing, I really, really love this jumpsuit. I think it's so cute. The color, the structure, 
texture, the style, it's just really cute. And it has pockets. <laughs> the quality on this jumpsuit, I would say is better than I would expect for the price. It feels very well constructed and the material is soft and comfy and breathable. Overall, I think this is a really great piece. I would suggest sizing down though, but I'm gonna go ahead and give this jumpsuit, you know, even though the sizing runs a little bit big and isn't perfect for me, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. I'd highly recommend this jumpsuit. I think it's really cute. Okay, so the rest of the outfits that I'm trying in this video are actually a mix of products from all four of these brands. Instead of like each outfit being one entire brand, I kind of mix it up here. So next we are gonna try these high rise cropped straight jeans from Universal Thread. They come in a double zero to a 26W and were $29.99. Now I wasn't sure what size to get for these. So I actually ordered a 14 and a 16 in these. That way I can try both and we can compare the fit and the sizing of both. And I also got this striped tank top from Wild Fable. I got it in an extra large and it was $10.99. Both of these pieces have a very like retro feel to them, which I, I really, really like. I think they look great. Let's go ahead and start start with, let's start with the top because then we can do the two sizes of jeans back to back. By the way, I'm wearing the 14 in these jeans right now. So this Wild Fable top, I like a lot. I think the material feels very nice. It's ribbed, so it's, it's fitted to me, but it's also very lightweight, so perfect for warm weather. And the sleeves are kind of that like muscle tank style where they're thicker and then they cut in a little bit. But I find that a lot of the times tops that are cut like this show my bra on the side, but you can see, Right here, no bra, just armpit hair. I also think the length of the shirt is perfect because with a pair of high-waisted jeans like this, it just kind of meets them right in the middle. But if I wore them with more of a mid-rise bottom, this hits like right above my belly button. Kind of like the, the white crop from the first outfit. The colors are cute, the material feels nice, the quality is pretty good, especially for the price. Overall, I'm gonna give this tank top a nine out of 10. I really like Wild Fable. Every Wild Fable piece I have been a fan of. Now let's talk about the Universal Thread jeans. I am, am very pleasantly surprised with these. I think because the, the first two Universal Thread items didn't like knock me out of this world, I had kind of tempered my expectations a little bit, but this is a great pair of denim. They're super high rise. So my belly button is like here. They're fitted in the thigh and the butt, at least for me. And then they kind of flare out a little bit at the ankle. These were described as a crop, but as you can see on me, I'm 5'4", they hit me just like a normal pair of jeans. The 14 definitely fits me snugly, but I don't think it's too tight. I'm not like spilling out of it or being squeezed uncomfortably. I think these look really cute. I really, really like them. I'm gonna hold off on rating them though until I try on the size up. So, all right, so here are the 16s and honestly not as big of a difference in the sizing as I would have expected. I have a little bit more room here in the waist, but it still looks like it's fitting me snug enough. I do have some of the like extra fabric bunching here kind of at like my crotch and my thighs. I'd say these definitely run true to size and I really like that they accounted for like thighs and hips and butt in the construction of these jeans because they are a more structured pair of denim. There isn't as much stretch to them. And I find that a lot of the times with jeans like that, they aren't always constructed with, you know, plus size bodies in mind and mid size bodies in mind. And these ones definitely are, which is super, super nice. I think I'm gonna keep the 14 because I don't have a pair of straight leg jeans like this and I'm gonna Poshmark the 16, but I highly recommend these jeans. These fit nice, they feel nice, they run true to size. I'm gonna give these jeans a nine out of 10. I think they're really, really nice. And especially for the price, Universal Thread kind of killed it with these jeans. These are really, really good. Next up, we have three items that I'm gonna try on together. Two are from Wild Fable and one is from Knox Rose. So this bodysuit that I got from Wild Fable comes in an extra small to a 4X. I got it in a 1X and it was $15. And then we have these printed chevron shorts from Knox Rose. These ones come in an extra small to a double XL and they were $22.99 and I got them in a double XL. And a denim jacket from Wild Fable that comes in an extra small to a 1X, it's $32 and I got it in a 1X. So let's go put all three of these pieces on and see how they look. Oh my gosh, you guys, this denim jacket, if you're looking for a denim jacket, highly, highly recommend this one. I'm gonna have links to all of these clothes in the description in case you wanna shop any of them. But this denim jacket, 
feels so comfy, so high quality. It looks so cute. The price is good. If you don't have a denim jacket, highly recommend this one. I am, I'm like over the moon for this jacket, but I'm torn because if you guys saw my closet clean out video, I, I realized I already have too many denim jackets. So I think I will still Poshmark this just because I already have too many denim jackets, but oh my gosh, cannot recommend enough. The material feels nice, but it's stretchy. It's not too like starchy or fit. It has like the raw hem on the bottom. It's, I, I can't, I, I can't rave about this jacket for any longer. 10 out of 10 for this jacket, amazing. Let's talk about the second Wild Fable item, the bodysuit. So I actually really, really like this. I think I'm starting to realize through this video that Wild Fable might be my favorite Target brand. The material of this bodysuit is so nice. It's relatively thick, but breathable. It's the perfect V-neck for if you do wanna show a little bit of cleavage, but it's not showing my bra. It is a little bit loose on me, but I really don't mind. It's just more of a comfortable fit. And I can be either a 0X or a 1X. I'm kind of in between the two. So I, I would say this still runs true to size. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and give this bodysuit a nine out of 10. I think it's really, really great. Now let's talk about these shorts. I went with the extra, extra large because since the waist was smocked and it was this elastic, I figured it would fit regardless. And I like a loose fit in the legs, but I will say the smocked waist is a little bit looser than I expected even with the elastic. So I do think if I started moving a lot because they are a little bit loose in my waist, they wouldn't necessarily stay in place. They might kind of like shimmy down, but the legs fit perfect. This is exactly the fit I wanted in the legs. They don't feel super cheap, but they don't feel like super crazy nice either. Just kind of in the middle, which for a pair of shorts at this price is pretty good. And they're kind of a nice in-between of not like a super short booty short, but also not like a, a knee length short. They're a little bit longer. They pass the uh, middle school dress code fingertip test. <laughs> so if you're looking for a really comfy, but more modest pair of summer shorts, I definitely would recommend these. I don't think I'm gonna keep them though, just because like I said, the fit in the waist isn't perfect for me, but I'm gonna go ahead and give these an eight out of 10. They're pretty good. Okay, super excited to try these like brownish yellow wide leg pants from Universal Thread. These come in a zero to an 18. I ordered them in a 16 and they were $29.99. And I also got this white flutter sleeve top from Wild Fable. I got it in an XL and it was $20. What's interesting about these pants is I got them in a 16 and they're Universal Thread, but they definitely run smaller than the cropped jeans from Universal Thread because these are a 16, but the way they fit in my waist and my hips and my thighs is like almost identical to the 14. And Jess actually just looked it up to see what fabric both of these pants were made of. And these ones and the crop jeans are made of the exact same material. So then my question is, why does this 16 fit like that 14 when they're from the same label? Now that being said, I do really like the look and fit of these pants. They fit me nicely, but they fit me tighter than I would expect from a 16. I I really love the tie belt at the waist. I think it's a cute touch and it also makes them more adjustable for different proportions. The length is like perfect for me. They crop just at my ankles. I do feel like these pants keep kind of like riding up into my crotch and I'm having to like pull them out like this. So I don't know if that's a sizing issue or a construction issue, but I just don't think they would be super comfortable for me to wear all day. But the material and the construction of these pants is pretty high quality. They feel very nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and give these pants a uh, six out of 10. I feel like sizing being inconsistent is one of my biggest pet peeves, especially when they're made from like the same fabric. I feel like, I feel like it should have been easy enough to streamline. But anyways, now let's talk about this top because I'm pleasantly surprised with it. It has this waist definition and then flares out. And I was worried that that might be a little bit tight on me, but the back, the back of the shirt is actually elastic. And then the front is just like fitted, not elastic. And so it allows for that like, fitted, not stretchy look here and gives that definition, but it's not pushing in or pulling on anything because of the stretchy back. I love that. I think the sleeves are really cute and I really like the look of the like lace overlay, especially if you're looking for like a white top to pair with more statement bottoms like these. It is nice to have something that's just plain white, but has a little bit more detailing and a little bit more uniqueness to it. And I would say this top fits true to size. I would say the quality is on the like mid to low end. It's not as high quality as a lot of the other tops, but still really good, especially for the price. So I'm gonna give this top an eight out of 10. Now that 
I've tried everything on, I have to say, I think consistently my favorite brand was Wild Fable. The style of everything was cute and trendy. The prices were good. It was pretty size inclusive and the fit and the sizing was consistent. I also really, really liked the universal thread jeans. I'm definitely interested in trying more of those for videos in the future, especially since this pair of universal threads bottoms wasn't as consistent. I'm curious to know what more of their denim is like. And I also think it's really cool that they're making an effort to be more ethical and be more sustainable while keeping that price point low and accessible. I think that can be really, really hard to find, especially because they're so size inclusive. But let me know down in the comments which items you liked the best. If you've tried any of these Target brands, what was your experience like? And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss future videos, but be confident, be kind to your body, and I'll see you guys next Friday with another new video. Bye.